Tampa veteran Jason Sanders ready to get a start. And off we go from South Park. Spears now to return it. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Titans coming up with their quarterback, Will Levis. Good performance last year. Taken early in that second round in the 2023 draft. Greg, this quarterback out of Kentucky could be the future for Tennessee. When you really dive deep and study some of the best quarterbacks, not only in today's game at the moment, Mike, in the NFL, but really throughout history of the league, the best quarterbacks, they hold themselves to a standard that nobody else in the organization could ever hold them to. Anything their coach asks of them, they want to be even better than that. And that's really what makes them special. So we had a chance to talk to him this week. He says, I have to be better. I need to put my team in more positive situations. That's the type of leadership that everybody goes out and tries to seek and bring into their organization at the quarterback position. Now he just needs everyone else around him to try to keep pace. Here's first and ten. From the gun, it's Levis. To the left side in the hands of Gore. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. It almost seemed like the defender was getting the play call sent into his helmet, just like the quarterback, because he knew the play before they even snapped the ball, and that play had no shot. Hopkins sent in motion. Throwing on second down. Levis. A pressure that got to him. He's hit as he threw it. That pass ball is incomplete. catch taken right around the 11 yard line the Miami offense will make their way onto the field leading this offense their veteran quarterback sometimes we can make NFL football so complicated Mike there's different schemes the personnel different approaches to how to play the game but when it all comes down to it the best teams in the league they simply just find a way to win. It might look different week in and week out. It might take 40 passes or it might take 40 runs. It could be a shootout or a slugfest. It doesn't matter. They are comfortable operating in all situations. And, man, all you got to do, like Al Davis said, just win, baby. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Hill brought in motion. The NFL's leader in rushing touchdowns last year, Raheem Mostert. They get the veteran, Teron Armstead. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. A run here with Mostert. And he's fighting to get three. A lot of work there for a game of three. Here's a third and ten. Here's Huntley. That's taken in by HM. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down.
punt team headed out for the Dolphins. Jaquan Jackson is back deep for Tennessee. Here comes a return. And it's a good return here. Able to take it across the 50. Set up the offense with a short field. The Titans offense ready to see the football for the second time. They'll start with a short field. Looking for the first points in this contest. And they'll begin first and ten. Levis. Throw well, over the middle. Brought in by Hopkins. And he's close to a first down. It's a gain of nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. inside the 30-yard line. Initially, when the quarterback looked his tight end's way, I thought he had a chance for a big pickup. He had nice separation there early. And let's give credit to the defense. They were able to rally quickly to the ball and keep that from being an even bigger game. Levis to throw here on first down. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This is why it's so critical that the quarterback and his intended target are on the same page. they got to speak the same language. When there's miscommunication, it leads to errant throws. And when errant throws lead to big missed opportunities. They'll run it with Tony Pollard. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. It is third and ten. The shotgun, Levis. That's complete. He got it to Hopkins. And they're going to be set up now as he's brought down at the five-yard line. Big-time pitch and catch there on third down to extend this drive. Feels like they've got to come away with six. You want to strike first. It'll go a long way in determining how the rest of this game plays out. Five yards from the house. They've got it first and goal. They'll run here. It's Pollard. He's going to force his way for a yard or two. But looks like this one's going to be coming back. Now it is first and goal. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. Now, Levis. He'll look Hopkins way again. This is also complete. Line of scrimmage, the seven for second and goal. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. On second down. Lutz. And he's in. DeAndre Hopkins. Touchdown, Titans. The veteran Nick Folk here for the extra point. He's got it. And the Titans will take a 7-0 lead.
Our kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. The return starts from the five. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The home team's offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. So they come to the line for first down and 10. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. Now Huntley. That's complete. It's Jalen Waddle. Enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. On second down. Poster. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. What makes great linebackers stand out from the pack is their instincts and their vision. In this case, the linebacker has his keys, brings them right where the ball is going, and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and keep this to a no game. In motion, it's Waddle. On play action, he'll set up to throw. He keeps it himself. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game. Here's a second and six. In motion, it's Waddle. Off the play pick, he'll look to throw. In trouble, and down he goes. Looked like a pass protection breakdown. They had five offensive linemen and a running back in the backfield. I promise you, somebody was assigned to that linebacker, but he timed the blitz perfectly. He ran through and was able to bring him down for a big sack. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Hill brought in motion. Now faking the give. And he's got to run out of time. They get to him and bring him down. Well, call and play action in that situation, that's certainly one choice. I and mean, I don't know if it's the conventional choice. That is a passing situation all day. Nobody's biting on play fakes, even a little bit. Here's the punter now. And John to punt for the second time in this opening quarter. This one fielded out beyond the 25. The Titans' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They lead it here early 7-0 as they start with a first and 10. Here's Levis to throw. Open man, he's got point. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Nice job there, getting the ball to your slot receiver and then letting him get to work. It's a nice feeling as a quarterback when you can just have a short throw still result in a big game. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. A zone read here, and he's going to keep this himself. The defense not fighting. They stay at home, stop the quarterback. No gain on the play. A lot of defense's strategy of defending the zone read, Mike, is we want that quarterback to pull the ball. It's one of their few chances throughout the course of the game where they can get their hits on them. And in this case, they're able to hold them to no gain. 
A second down throw here for Levis. That's to the former Jaguar and Falcon, Calvin Ridley. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. I think they're going to have to be more creative here on the back end with the types of coverages they show this quarterback. When you just show pre-snap, it is straight man coverage, and then you stay in it once the ball is snapped. It just makes it so easy on these quarterbacks, Mike, to just find the matchup that they And the rush too strong. They're in there in a flag for the set. Once you get down into this part of the field, most teams call it the red area. You have to finish by capitalizing with six points. Anything less than that feels like a little bit of a letdown. And after that sack, their chances of coming away with six get a lot more difficult. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. On play action, here's Levis. That game is tight end of Hunkro. Mike, did you see how tight the sideline got after that run after catch? I, mean, I thought the bench was going to run out onto the field to celebrate. He refused to go down on first contact and second contact for that matter. Third and long. Here's Levis. We've played one quarter here on a Monday night. It's the Titans out to the early lead. And we're back to South Florida after this. Fourth down, the veteran Nick Folk will try it for Tennessee. This is a 48-yard attempt. Folk's kick is good. And the Titans will extend to a 10-0 lead. So the lead is now 10-0 as this kicks away. Here's Berrios on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Out comes Miami and the offense to get started on their next drive. And nothing doing from the offense just yet. Down 10-0 as they come up with first and 10. brought in motion now the former Texas A&M Aggie here's Devon Aiche and he'll get back maybe to the line of scourge but probably going to be a loss of a yard here well as been the case this entire first half it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team some offensive struggles but they've done more than their part coming through again with another big stop for a loss back to throw Huntley. He'll get this to the former Falcon, Johnny Smith. Here's a third down and four. Throw in Huntley. Inside the 40-yard line. 
And finally, we see this offense find a little bit of life here early in this first half. They've struggled to get anything going early on, but at least this play has them on the move. Now, can they finish this drive and finally put some points on the scoreboard here in the first half? First and 10 now from the 36. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. Huntley. That's caught by Smith on the right side. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. He'll set up to throw. Now a deep ball toward the end zone. So that pass interference in the end zone puts the pressure on the defense. It is first and goal from the one. Man in motion is Berrios. He'll run with Mostert. And that big offensive line. Touchdown, Dolphins! Jason Sanders on for the point after. He's got it. And the Dolphins are on the board. It's 10 to 7. the touchdown. Myers is back to boot this one away. Fisk taken in at the 8-yard line. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. Out comes the Tennessee offense. They get set to see what they can do. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and 10. for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. They'll come up here on second down and five. They'll go play action with Levis. He's going to get it to Ocampo. And he will score. Chick Ocampo. Touchdown, Tennessee. What a luxury to have in an offense. A tight end who can take it down the field like that and take it the distance. Shades of Greg Olson back in the day. Well, I appreciate that, Mike, but I think it's clear by now that we all know what's the most impactful position on offense. It's the tight end. And when you have a guy like this who can not only make those difficult catches underneath, but who can get down the field for these big plays, man, you got yourselves a weapon. Folks, extra point is good. And the Titans will get out in front 17-7. to
both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Here comes a return from the five. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The home team's offense ready to take over once more. They find themselves down 17 to 7 as this drive starts first and 10. Here's Huntley. That one, oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looked like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. It's just a matter of time. I don't care how good you are or how good a hand you have. You are going to drop passes. It is inevitable in the NFL. But it's the guys that don't let one drop pass lead to two. They have the ability to put it behind them, move forward, and they can't wait for that next ball to be thrown their way. And he'll gain about six there as it's up past the 35-yard line. Here's a third down and four. Man in motion is Berrios. So, after the five yards are walked off, they face third and long. Huntley now. And this ball incomplete on third down. The most important stat, Mike, to determine wins and losses in the NFL is clearly turnover differential. Your ability to protect the ball and on defense, take the ball away. And for any offense, that's even more critical when you have the ball on your side of the field. A fair catch here. Called for and made beyond the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. Their lead is 10. They go back to work trying to add to it. It begins with first down. It's Levis. Throw over the middle. Caught in by Hopkins. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. Out of the shotgun. Levis. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. Anytime you see a receiver at this level miss a ball that easy, it's just concentration. They just take it for granted. All of a sudden, they're thinking about what their next move is or what they're going to do after the catch. And instead of just focusing on first things first, secure the catch, put the ball away, then become a runner. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Sometimes it's those footsteps. I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at. And that defender's bearing down. You really get a good idea what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch. And in this case, what guys are unwilling. He's going to look for the home run ball. And on third down, that ball incomplete. Every so often, like you can see these offenses, and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable. And as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders, they're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws, but to put the ball in harm's way. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. 
The Dolphins offense ready to get back to work. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. To throw is Huntley. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. feet short it's tough to completely celebrate Mike when you don't pick up the first down but that's a run you will take every single time I mean good yardage and in a lot of situations it'll get you the first down just not here Hill brought in motion he'll try and throw for it on third and one His third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. The main goal for these quarterbacks when they're facing zone defense, Mike, is to identify the soft spots quickly. You need your guys to get open and stay open all before that defense has a chance to get home with their rush. They want to tie the coverage in with the rush unit. Like you see here, when you can give good protection and your receivers can get open and find those open spots, you deliver the ball on time. There's a lot of room to operate. Before he gets inside the 35 yard line. 22 yards, the pickup there. Good for a Dolphins first down. In motion, it's Waddle. Now Huntley. That's made there, that's Smith. This takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. But well, I'll tell you what, Mike. This is one of those times where you really see the evolution of the tight end position, right? It's not the days of just go past the first down, turn around, catch it, and fall. We see so many guys around the league that with the ball in their hand, they're almost more running back than they are tight end. A run with the fullback, Ingle. Trying to use that big body to get the yardage, but he is stopped for no gain. He'll try again here, second and ten. On the bootleg, he'll look to throw. This one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. A throw on the move. is caught. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. Sanders' pick is good. And the Dolphins are back within a score. It's now 17 to 10. So Sanders back out after making the field goal. He sends this one away. 
Spears now to return it. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. DeAndre Hopkins and the Titan offense getting ready to get back to work. And it may be time for this defense to start throwing a second defender at him, maybe. Look at what he's done. Whatever the defense has tried the first half, it hasn't worked. First and ten. Here's Levis. That's caught by Spears out of the backfield. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Now, Levis. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Linebackers in general have the reputation of being very instinctive players, and I think we saw it there on that last pass breakup. The ability to diagnose and read the play almost before it even starts and allows them to be in the right spot at the right time and allows them to make the play. Off the play fake, it's Levis. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Based on the routes downfield, it looked like the protection was designed to give the quarterback a little bit more time to wait for things to uncover downfield. So give credit up front to the defensive line. Immediate pressure early speeds up the quarterback's clock. He's got no choice than to get rid of it probably a little bit earlier than he would have preferred. A fair catch signal, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. The Dolphins' offense ready to get back at it. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Man in motion is Berrios. He's going to look deep for Tyreek. That'll be batted away. Complete coverage, very strong defensively. It's second down. So often we see when those balls get deflected up into the air, they usually turn into interceptions. I think the offense dodged a bullet here, and they're fortunate there was nobody in the area to come down with that pick. Back to the air again on second and ten. Was brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. On third down, they'll set up to throw. And that is incomplete. And barring an aggressive decision here on fourth down, it just seemed like a really wasted possession to go three and out not able to pick up a single first down, not only do you not able to gain any field position advantage, it really takes a lot of the wind out of your sails as you find yourself jogging off the field and the punt team coming on. Now, fair catch will be taken out near the 35-yard line. The Titans offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. Opening carry of the game for Ty J. Speed. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two minute warning. Two minutes remain here in this first half. We'll come back to Miami after this. Here's a second and nine. Levis. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. 
To say football is a game of inches may be an understatement after that last play. I mean, he gets there just a little bit quicker. He can get two hands on it and reel it in. Instead of just forcing the incomplete, he could have had himself a pick. From the gun, on third down, here's Levis. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looks like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. So the hope is your one-third down conversion from really jump-starting a possession that ultimately leads in points. But after that third down incompletion, kind of throws a wrench into those plans. Here's Berrios on the return. And he'll get something there on the return, able to take this back to the 20-yard line. The Dolphins offense headed back to take over once more. They'll start out. First down and 10. Back to throw. Huntley. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a play call. This is teach tape for man defense, Mike. I mean, he is not looking back at the quarterback at all. He is in the hip pocket of his receiver. He's staying in phase and in rhythm, and then he knows when the wide receiver's hands go up, attack the ball, and that's about as good as it gets. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. The Titans will use the first of their timeouts as they'll discuss what's to come as fourth down is looming. Here's their punter now, as he'll come on to kick for the fifth time here tonight. And he's going to make a fair catch just beyond his own 40-yard line. The Titans offense ready to see what they can do. They'll have very good starting field position as they set up past the 40. Here's first and 10. Levis to throw. Through the contact, it's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. Throwing on second down, Levis. going to be taken down. So after picking up some positive yardage on first down, they end up going backwards on second. That sack now brings up third and long, and most of the time is a very pass-happy situation. Makes them very one-dimensional. So, back up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Tight end, motioning left. Throwing now on third and long. And this drive is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down.
Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. As the drive went in the wrong direction, he's on to punt it away. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Dolphins offense going to take over here in the final minute of this first half. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. break the huddle coming up now for first and ten man in motion is Berrios off the play pick he'll look to throw and they get to him and finally bring him down it will go down as a sack it's just so hard to get anything going when you're just not confident running your own system and all these early sacks yes they kill drives but think what it does to the quarterback. The quarterback just can't be confident operating out of the pocket. There's no rhythm, there's no timing, and everything you planned on doing today coming in is out the window. Second and 11. Hill brought in motion. Throwing Huntley. Into the hands of Berrios. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Reports. These two teams leaving the tunnel, and we'll head out with them. It's time to send it back over to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go in the second half is underway. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The home team's offense ready for this next possession. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards any completions this has just been a dominant pass defense performance here and everything starts with the rush the quarterback's uncomfortable the clock gets sped up he's got guys in his face it's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast and right now they're teeing off and taking advantage of it what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. And out of the gun. He'll throw. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, that tip ball, I think, just saved a huge play because this offense found something. They had an open target with a lot of room to run, and 
Unfortunately for them, the defender gets his hand on the ball, and that went away pretty quick. Here's Huntley. And this ball incomplete on third down. I'd say one of the most critical elements of a dynamic offense, Mike, is how efficient are you on third down? It's something these teams stress all week. Here's an opportunity to continue to extend this drive. The defense wins this time and brings up fourth down. A fair catch taken, and they're going to start right at their own 20-yard line. The Titans offense and quarterback Will Levis ready for their next possession. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position, instrumental in leading and executing, and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Here's Levis to throw. That's caught right side. It's Hopkins. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. They go play action with Levis. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. From the gut, it's Levis. He's got his tight end. That's a punk ball. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier. And that catch gets him a first down. Everyone always assumes that you only want to run drag routes or crossing routes just underneath, like, mesh concepts against man coverage. But so often, they're equally as effective against the zone. All it takes is one of those underneath man defenders to latch on to the wrong route. And all of a sudden, there is a lot of room, not only for the completion, but for yards after the catch. Play action, here's Levis. That one, oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looks like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. Seems like the quarterback was a little predetermined in his read. I think he decided, even before seeing the coverage, where that ball was going. Next time, read the coverage. Let the play unfold. Don't force something that's not there. A good run there on second down. A pick up of seven. It'll bring up third and three. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in. The tight end Okonkwo is in motion. Out of the shotgun. Left. He's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. The motion man is four. They run on the jet sweep. And this defense having nothing of that. They get him down behind the line. So they go backwards on first down. Here's second and 13. Throwing is Levis. Oh, and he boy, wide open. And he's got it. A gain of 17 yards. That's good for a Titan first down. 
This pass defense, it, it just has to be better than this, Mike. They have to do a better job accounting for everybody in their coverages. Seems like they got a little lazy. They got locked in on maybe one or two of the offensive targets. They have to play their defense exactly according to the plan. Because if not, this quarterback has enough weapons. He can spread the ball out and find the open space. This one is complete along the sideline. A very nice job to fit that ball in. It'll be a modest game. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. defensively it's knocked away and incomplete in what's clearly become a passing league Mike if you're not actively rushing the passer you have to be able to hold up in coverage and that's especially true at the linebacker position great job here getting in those passing lanes and being able to break up that ball here's Levis that's complete going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. There's a reason certain guys, Mike, just always seem to be open. It's really because route running is more art than it is science. How do you manipulate the defense to find open spots or win versus man to create separation and earn the trust of your quarterback? Levis to throw it here on first down. Toward the middle of the field. That time, but Incomplete. Goes without saying, like, you have to be smart with the ball, especially down here in the red zone. You're already in scoring position. I understand they're trying to come away with a touchdown, but at the very least, come away with three. Worst case scenario is you turn the ball over and you come away with nothing. On second down, left. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. There was tight coverage all across the field. I think the quarterback thought he had the arm strength to fit this one into a pretty small window, but the defense wasn't having it. They were all over it, and I think the quarterback actually got away with one there. Good drive so far, but this is a big hurt. It is third and ten. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. And it's incomplete taking your shot there on third down pushing the ball downfield looking for the touchdown but now as it brings up fourth down you're already this close you're in field goal range but do you keep that offense on the field and try to maintain possession and see if you can come away with six he is two for two that kick is good and the titans will extend their lead kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here's Berrios on the return and he's brought down right at the 25 yard line the home team's offense ready to take over once again they'll start it here with a first and ten They put Smythe in motion. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. Changing direction there as he's able to pick up three.
They face second down and seven. In motion, it's Waddle. Now, faking the give. Sanders here for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Dolphins are back within a field goal. The lead is three. After the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. From the six, here comes a return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Titans offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been kicked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific. All game long. So they come to the line for first down and ten. Hopkins sent in motion. On first down, Levis. That caught Tony Pollard. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. Now, Levis. Throw right over the middle, brought in by Hopkins. That catch puts him over the 100 yard mark here tonight, and it gives the team a first down. The motion man is bored. Here comes the jet sweep. And some good running there. He'll fall forward for about seven. Here's a second and three fourth come. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. A second down throw here for Levis. Oh, what a throw. Slinging it across his body and complete. This play is actually really well defended here. But I'll tell you, Mike, as you know, my philosophy is the tight end is always open, and this just supports my case. Oh, maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it. Left side into the hands of Hopkins. First and ten from the 38-yard line. 
Levis. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. The whole idea of that short pass is designed to get the ball into the hands of the receiver in space and let him do the rest after the catch. But the key word there, Mike, is get the ball into the hands of the receiver. He doesn't secure the catch, so there is no run after. And he'll pick his way forward, a gain of about five. And that's going to set up third down. Levis to throw. He'll try to run for it. And he's into a slide to avoid the contact. Does so successfully. And it's a first down. This is exactly how it's supposed to look on third down. His eyes are downfield. Nothing materializes. He quickly decides he can do it himself. Picks up the first down. And then to protect himself with the slide. Well done. On first and ten. Here's Levis. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. From the gun, they'll give it. It's Pollard. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. He's going to lose a yard. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get-off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. From the gun on third down, here's Levis. Taking off, he'll try to get there. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. Nick Folk now on with the field goal unit. This will be a 38-yard attempt. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Titans add on to their lead. the kicks away. Here's Berrios on the return. And he'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The home team's offense and receiver Jalen Waddle getting ready to go back to work. The deficit, six points. A touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drive. First and ten. to start this drop. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Some nose guards in the 3-4 defense, Mike, are just asked to take up space and eat up blockers. But not this guy. He defeats his blocker and makes the tackle. That's playing the nose guard at the next level. He'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he'll wind his way to about the 38-yard line. Linebacker Ernest Jones ends that play. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Back to throw. Huntley. Now a screen set up for HF. And he's 
going to be brought down here on what will turn out to be the final play of the third quarter. Trailing late, they've got to go here. It's fourth down. They'll run for it. Wait a minute. In reverse. And that is going nowhere fast. Disastrous play. A big loss. Visitors offense and the veteran DeAndre Hopkins ready to take over once more. They've got the lead and they'll set forth trying to build on it. They're going to do that with excellent field position. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Here's Levis. This throw, right side, taken in by Ridley. They get 12 yards on that pass. First down for Tennessee. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super concerned. Just hand off right, hand off left. And it just turns into tackling practice. So... I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Little play action with Levis. He's going to get it to Oconco. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. That quarterback called that play in the huddle. That ball was only going to one guy. He was the first read, the second read, and the check down. And it was called to perfection. They got the perfect look and led to a nice game. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. From the gun, it's Levis. He's got it inside the five. It is first and goal. Out of the shotgun, Levis. It is brought in in the end zone. Alvin Ridley, touchdown Titans. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Levis will bring the Titans to the line, looking for two. They'll look to run with Pollard. And he will get into the end zone and bump the lead up by two more. Not a real complicated breakdown needed here, Mike. In short yardage situations like that, if you have confidence in both your back and your offensive line, sometimes it's the simplest plays that have the best results.
the kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Here's Berrios on the return. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. That's where the offense will take over. Out comes Miami and the offense to get started on their next drive. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. Here's Huntley. And is caught aside by Waddle. And they're going to mark him down up past the 35. Things certainly look a little improbable right now, Mike, but I wouldn't say impossible. I think they've got to capitalize on this possession to pick up some points. Good start there. Early completion. But now they've got to get across midfield and go. Every single possession right now is priceless. Points, possessions, and then they got to get some defensive stops. Hook him up on a second down and eight. Throwing, Huntley. That one brought in by Berrios. Here's a third down and four. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. I think as the offense comes to the sideline now, the quarterback and his wide receivers need to get together and say, hey guys, what are you seeing out there? How can we find some open targets? Because on that last down, there was nowhere to go with the ball. comes the Tennessee offense. They get set to see what they can do. And as we look back now, Greg, at how we got here, we've got a ton of highlights of the offense so far. In particular, great passing. Yeah, and if you want to score points in the NFL, Mike, there's no secret. You've got to do it primarily through the air. And with three touchdowns here so far, that's exactly what we've seen. It's been deep balls. It's been intermediate shots. It's been good run after catch. This has really been high-level offense on display right from the jump. They'll come up here first and ten. They'll give it to Pollard to start this drive. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. These are the impact plays that this linebacker is capable of, Mike. Not only dissecting and determining where the ball was going, but then to shoot through the line of scrimmage and make this tackle for a loss. That's a big-time play by a really good player. The pressure gets there, and down he goes back inside the 20-yard line. This has been a tough sequence right out of the jump. You work all week on your opening script, and they're usually the plays that you feel the best about to try to establish some sort of early rhythm, but through two plays, run and pass, all they've done is go backwards. This a must stop for this defense. Facing third and long. And this is incomplete. But it looked like that defender got a head start. Let's check the call. The penalty gets them back where they started, and it is third down and ten. He's got his tight end. That's a punk blow. 
and he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Levis to throw. He's going to keep it himself. 20-yard pickup there. That's good for a Titan first down. A quarterback who can extend the play with his legs, Mike, is just such a key element to today's modern offenses. You can see there was nowhere for him to go with the ball, but he decides to turn into a runner, picks up a great game, and ultimately a first down. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. <laughs> to throw is Levis. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And it'll be a short pickup. That's not enough for the first down. chance to get him closer to that finish line. It is third and two. Here's Levis. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. But here we find the best laid plans sometimes do go astray. Every offense, Mike, what do they tell us? We want to stay ahead of the chains. We want to stay on schedule. This was a third and very reasonable. Incomplete on that third down try. Now brings up fourth and short. And he's going to have the first down. An aggressive call there. But it works out as they convert on fourth down. Somebody moved early up front. Throwing is Levis. There's that man again. Another catch. sent in motion on second down Levis he'll look Hopkins way again this is also complete they'll get 19 out of that play first down for Tennessee well sometimes as a play caller it's pretty easy get the ball into the hands of your best players in this case a wide receiver screen get it to him quick get some blockers out in front let him do the rest after the catch and he picks up the first down Space getting tight here, down to the 13-yard line. They work first and 10. On the bootleg, it's Levis. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. He'll try again here. Second and ten. Back to the air. It's Levis. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down.
The tight end Okonkwo is in motion. And he'll take it on in. Chig Okonkwo. Touchdown, Tennessee. He's got another one. His second touchdown of the evening. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. Now, folks, on for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Titans will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. teams ready to go once more as the kicks away here's Berrios on the return and a solid run back there he'll get this out past the 30 yard line the Dolphins offense and their big play wide out getting set for their next possession things not looking good but see if they get the turnaround going here they'll start this drive with first down now into the hands of Berrios and they'll get about half of what they needed it's a pick up of five and sets up second and five now Huntley Now Sanders on for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Dolphins are able to cut into the deficit. This one not quite over, but down a couple of scores. We're going to get an onside kick. Well, that recovery certainly makes things a little more interesting, but you're still down two possessions. So you've got to work fast, score quickly, and then line back up and recover another one. Set to go now on first and ten. To throw is Huntley. That's caught by Smith on the right side. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning remain as we get set for first and ten. not going to get away. They track him down. Yeah. 
Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back for the conclusion in a moment. Now on second and long. They'll drop to throw. The throw on the run is complete. Well, they'll get some of the sack yards back, but it's still going to leave them with third down. Back to throw. Huntley. He's going to air this one out. They're trying to take the top off the defense, make them feel that vertical threat and soften everything up. Wasn't a ton of separation downfield, at least not what they would have preferred, and ends it up being a wasted down. A lot on the line here. Fourth down and nine. Man in motion is Berrios. defense nowhere to be found a fourth down gain of 20 they'll look to throw yet again and he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of a marker Here comes second down. In motion, it's Waddle. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. And he's caught in the end zone. But hold everything. There is a flag in the backfield. I think this one's coming back. So, a costly penalty here. It wipes away the touchdown. Man in motion is Berrios. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. It is third and ten. He'll look to throw. Catch made there. That's Smith. Now Miami going to use the second of their timeouts. Clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Now, first and goal. They'll look to throw again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. You have to come down with those opportunities. You're not going to get your hands on the ball very often as a defensive player. And when you do, let alone in the end zone, those are plays you just have to make. We'll go again from the three. It is second and goal. possession so they're still alive but now they've got to find a way to get a little bit of luck and find a way to get the ball back and it's not going to be easy Sanders here for the extra point he 
It's up and through. And the Dolphins will cut the deficit to seven. They need a late recovery to have any chance. Here comes the onside kick. The kickoff unit is out there, and they'll send this one away. With the rule changes on kickoff, Mike, it's just so hard to really expect to recover an onside kick nowadays. There's a lot of people pushing for kind of a radical change to this. Hey, can we make it fourth and 15? Offense gets the go. If they convert it, they keep the ball. I'm not sure that ever happens, but we can see here an onside kick not much of a chance. The visitors' offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. First and ten. Victory formation. Defense powerless to stop. And that should just about do it. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. 